What's going on, Ranking Family? Welcome back to another beautiful property tour. Today, we are looking in Prosper, Texas, near Dallas. This one is in Winsong Ranch. This is the model house, and you know we love partners in building. It's raining a little bit right now, so you might hear some rain. I have an umbrella right now, so that way there's no malfunctions whatsoever. But I really can't wait to show you this one. This one is humongous, and I think you're gonna absolutely love it. So the exterior contains that beautiful stucco that everyone so much loves. You have that three car bay over there, the garage itself, but I can't wait to show you inside. So going inside this walkway, you are gonna have this large covered front porch with the pivot door that everyone so much loves. Let me go ahead and put my umbrella down. We don't need that right now. I don't wanna cause any bad luck. So going inside of the property itself, you are gonna be greeted with this beautiful foyer. The one thing I absolutely love is the fact that you can see the backyard initially right when you walk in. So we'll start right here to the right. What you're gonna have is your formal dining room. As you can tell up here, you have the beautiful recess lighting with the accents. And you know partners in building, they do such a fantastic job of dressing their properties to show what it could actually look like. So inside of here, as you can tell, you have a nice size, just go ahead and add a big size dining table. That way you have no challenges whatsoever with entertaining your guests. Right here, you are gonna have your wet bar area. I could see you easily, maybe utilize this as a wine grotto or something similar in nature. So continuing along right here, you're gonna have your breakfast bar area almost like an, another informal dining room, just the amount of space that you have inside of here. And then you have this huge kitchen. So let me go ahead and do a pan so that way you can see how large this is. You have this oversized island with the marble countertops. Just look at the sleekness of this refrigerator. Absolutely fantastic. The amount of storage space that you have inside of here is absolutely stunning you have these stack cabinets on top with the brass handles not to mention you have this beautiful backsplash right here with the quartz countertops so i love the fact that you have different types of counters so of course you have marble over here you have quartz over to the side and then you have these elegant floating shelves with the stainless steel range hood just look at the lighting fixtures but I just love the fact that this island is humongous. Perfect, not to mention, look at all the cabinetry that you have on the siding as well. You have a built-in stainless steel microwave with the sleek looking sink, brass hardware again. You have the double oven stainless steel again, and just look at the elegance of this. And I'll make sure to pan the entire property. You don't have to worry. We won't miss a thing. I'll make sure of it. So going inside of your great room, you do have these uh, raised ceilings right here, almost like a cathedral-like ceilings with the mini exposed wooden beam on top. Beautiful chandelier right there. You have this nice gas fireplace and just look how elegant this is. So partners in building, I mean, I really have nothing but good things to say about them. Clients have nothing but good things to say about them just because they really take pride in their work, especially their craftsmanship. Sometimes you may see some of these model houses and they end up utilizing cheaper materials and it just has more of that cheaper look. But inside of here, the first thing that comes to mind is luxury. So you have these oversized baseboards right here. You have your sliders, which is perfect for entertaining folks. And just, I'm just, I'm speechless, quite frankly. So continuing along right here to the right would be your bedroom. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go straight ahead to your game room, your common area, and then it connects, it's a shared bathroom. So you have the similar ceilings in top or inside of here. You have that wood accent wall on the back. The sliders continues in here. So think about it. On a Saturday night, if you have all the family here, you can open up all the sliders and that way there's really no seclusion whatsoever. But inside of here, I mean, it just looks like a nice area. I mean, you can even utilize this as a formal living room, really 
the possibilities are endless. You really just gotta, gotta get creative with your imagination in this instance, but I love it. And if you are a returning viewer, folks, welcome back, always great to have you. And if this is your first time to the channel, my name is Marcus Rankin, I am a Texas realtor. I get calls, texts, and emails every single week from folks looking to make a move out to Texas, regardless if it's Dallas, Houston, Corpus Christi, San Antonio, Austin, you name it, we got you covered. So reach out to the information below. We'll get you connected to the right local expert and consider hit that subscribe button. I'd love for you to become a part of the Rankin family. And that way you're the first to know when I drop a new video every week. So inside of here, you do have this beautiful shower surround. You have the shower bench and the shower niche with the window on top, which I absolutely love. I was with a client recently and we were looking at some other um, homes. I'm not going to say the builder's name, but it's definitely not partners in building. And they didn't add that shower bench inside of there. And it, it was funny. It, it was about four or five things that were a deal breaker, but that was certainly one of them. I wish they did uh, add that shower bench. So you don't think you need it until you need it, right? So if you notice, this is a shared bathroom. You have dual sinks. So obviously you have the sink over there and the sink over here. Quartz countertops with this beautiful lighting fixture humongous and then of course right here you have another linen closet and then this will be your bedroom so you have the led ceiling fan inside of here recessed lighting again continues in here and this is a queen size bed folks so you can really just kind of tell the amount of space that's in here and quite frankly you don't really need one of them oversized night tables you can easily utilize the smaller ones and be perfectly fine. Most of the time, we're probably just gonna put our water so we um, have the water throughout the night or maybe a book that you're reading, the Bible, what have you. So that'll be perfect. Inside of here, you got a nice size closet. And then of course you have your dresser inside of here and you definitely have plenty of walk room. So most folks would just utilize this as a guest room, which is perfectly fine. And then we'll continue back out here. So that was this section of the house. What I'll make sure to do is go straight ahead so that way you can see the garage, the utility room, and the pantry. So right here is gonna be your pantry. You have a nice size pantry. And the one thing I really love is the fact that you have the shelving extending on top. So you wanna put the canned goods that, you know, sometimes you might put the canned corn up there and we don't even use it for the next six months, but it'll be perfect. So inside of here, you do have your utility room. Look how much space you have for a huge washer and dryer. So even if you have an industrial type washer and dryer, this would be perfect for you. You do have your sink over here. You have the cabinetry, which I so much love, like I always mention, and a lot of these tours, I love it, that you can easily utilize that for fabric softeners and um, laundry detergent. So inside of here is going to be your garage. So you have a two car garage bay right here. And then over here, you're gonna have your one car bay. So it's perfect. And not to mention, if you notice, I mean, even if you put your car right here, you still have plenty of space over here. If you like to work on cars or you like to hang out in the garage, some folks that I know, they end up just utilizing the garage as a gym. So if that's the case, you have plenty of space and this will be access to the side. It's raining right now, we'd go out there, but we'll go out a little bit later throughout the tour. So the one thing that's interesting inside of here, and of course, this is the model house. Like I said, folks, a lot of the things that come in the model house aren't necessarily gonna come in the standard build, unless you add it in there, of course, but you have a powder bath. Well, half bath, huh? How funny is that? So let's continue along. So this section right here, like I said, was the garage. You have the pantry, the utility room. And I'll just do one more pan, look at this. So if you're coming in from a long day, you park in the garage, this is what you would be greeted with. So we saw that section, let's go ahead and head to the primary suite. So the good thing is you have it sectioned off on this side. We'll go ahead and look in the primary ensuite, but I want you to see the bedroom. So you have tray ceilings on top. You have the elegant chandelier right over your bed. 
and just look how much space you have in here, folks. You really can't get much better than this. There's a king size bed, two overnight or oversized night tables with the dresser, two chairs, and a little sitting area, which is perfect. And you have so much space. So out of here, you have wood flooring. It continues throughout the property. And then let's go ahead and take a look at your ensuite. So you have French doors going inside of here. You have the high ceilings, 20 foot ceilings inside of here, marble countertops, his and her sink, large oversized soaker tub. And then just look at this. So even if you, you turn off the lights, so that's a almost like a Sputnik chandelier, but if you turn off the lights, you do have all these other windows that lets in plenty of natural light, which everyone definitely loves. I know that's one of the most said things <laughs> from a property tour from most realtors is natural light. Tons of natural light, tons of natural light. You hear that quite often. So we need to expand our vocabulary. But right here, you have this large size walk-in shower with the large shower bench, beautiful shower surround. You got your shower wand right here, your black shower head. Again, windows letting in natural light. <laughs> and look at these lighting fixtures, folks. Fantastic, you really can't get much better than this. So it's interesting, because if you notice, you have the brass handles right here, but you have the black faucet. Interesting combo. But inside of here, you're gonna have your large size walk-in closet. Look how much space you have in here. You can't get much better than this. I wonder if we can open this. Yeah, we can. Okay, so right here, you could easily put your safe or some extra, you maybe even put a rod right there and add some of your exclusive wardrobe that you don't want anybody in the family to see. You can go ahead and add that right here, but you just have plenty of space inside of here. You can easily add, you know, the little section right here where you can maybe add another dresser so that way you can put your ties and any um, accessories that you may have, but in here is definitely sufficient. Wow. So the good thing is in here, you have the recessed lighting. And if you notice, even on top, you have extra coat racks. So that way you can go ahead and add the winter wear when it's summer. So I don't know if I open this one, but I'll open it again just in case. Okay. So that was the primary. This is two levels right here. So now what we'll do is we'll head up right there to the right would end up being your study and then let's go ahead up here but if you notice the high ceilings continues up here going up the stairs itself if the wood flooring continue and if you notice you have the iron rails but you also have the wood railing i believe that's iron. yeah that's iron. and just look how elegant this is you have the beautiful chandeliers coming in inside the foyer we'll go ahead and start right here to the left you have a coat closet right here, especially for a day like this when it's raining. And this will be your third bedroom. So you do have your LED lighting in here again, huge baseboards throughout here as well. And you have a full bathroom. Quartz countertops, beautiful lighting fixture on top, shower tub combo with the shower niche, large size walk-in closet, it's like secondary closet right here. So you have, well, I guess a half closet right here and then the full walk-in closet there. The first time I've seen that. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about that in the comments below, but you do have the quartz countertops. And then of course your storage closet. So continuing along, if you notice you have these oversized windows as well. So that way you can see right over the backyard. And then inside of here, you have your media room. So not the largest media room, but it definitely gets the job done. You have your French doors inside of here. You have carpet, adds that cozy feel, have that cozy element. So, I mean, even in here, you have the L-shaped couch. You could easily take this out right here maybe add a projector so that way you have a little bit more space. So continuing along, let's head this way to the right. Right here, you're gonna have another full bathroom. You have the 
recess lighting, very similar in nature to the other one that was attached to the third bedroom. Side of here, this is another full size bedroom with the LED ceiling fans. So you definitely have a lot of space inside of here. I mean, even though you don't have uh, the furniture inside of here, you can definitely fit a queen size bed, two nightstands, and a dresser, and you definitely have plenty of space. And right here, you have a pocket door that is attached to this shared bathroom right here to the hallway. So before we head into the final bedroom right here, you can have your storage or your attic. That way you can put all the Christmas decorations, things that you need to put away during the holidays. And of course, right here, you have your final bedroom. So overall, I think it is a 10 out of 10. I'd love to hear what you have thought about it. Where's the light at? Right here, quartz countertops. I mean, yeah, quite frankly, absolutely amazing. And you know, Winsong Ranch, they have quite a bit of builders in here. They're building this section out and it's really a nice area. Very quiet, very peaceful. A lot of folks are loving it. It's extremely busy. Today's a Saturday right now and folks are shopping around. So now what we'll go ahead and do is take a look at the backyard. Of course, you do have the covered backyard patio. One thing I really love about this one, you do have a tile roof. A lot of times you might see the composition roof, but that tile roof is just extremely sturdy, which a lot of folks absolutely love. And then right here, you will have your powder bath. If you notice inside of here, you do have floating countertops. You do have tile flooring inside of here with the brass mirror framing. And I love the accent wall. You have that tile accent wall right here. And then of course, right here is going to be your study. So you have all this cabinetry right here. You have this brass chandelier coming over right here as well with the French doors, which everyone absolutely loves. And let's go ahead and take a look at the backyard. So really, gosh, I can see all the family inside of here. Really at the end of the day, what you might have is some new acquaintances once they find out you live in a house like this. But look at this. Oh my goodness. Just the pool, the pool's going right now. Yeah, it's raining right now, but gosh, you can't get much better than this, folks. Look, so you have your built-in grill over here. You got your patio equipment. Like I said, the sliders, you can open those up on a warm summer day. And just look at this. Obviously you have your backyard area. You can put the swing set or you wanted to add a trampoline or really not much you need else. But that folks is the lovely partners in building. All right, Rankin family. So that was the lovely partners in building right here in Winsong Ranch. Let me know in the comments what you folks thought about it. Of course, if you do want more information, I have all of it in the description below and I'll see you folks on the next property tour.